reasonably skeptical. And this is another edition of Spook Horror. This week we enter into a house around the Oxford region that's supposedly haunted for some 15 years. The family are quite safe in another house and tonight me and Eric Spukora will be sleeping in this house and finding out exactly what's going to go on. Legend has it that the ghost has appeared in this room. The last sighting was three days ago. Sometimes it stays up all night making sounds and other sorts of things. Not very likely, is it? This way. Oh, is the camera still running? No. The family have lived here for 15 years. Throughout those 15 years, there's been terrible noises, squeaky bumps, all sorts of strange goings on, howls, cries in the night. This room has been a hive of activity of spiritual interference over the last 15 years. Now, the family have got used to the ghost and say that it no longer affects their everyday life. However, they would like closure on their ghostly friend. The owners of the house think that the dogs are sometimes communicating with the spirit of a dog. Mr. Spukora will also investigate this claim. Let's go and meet him. Good evening, Eric. Eric Spookor, the final spook. Come in, Eric. What's, what's your intuitive feeling first entering into this house? Well, the spirits are, are really strong. It, it's so strong, I can almost taste it. Yeah. I, 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 I can just feel the, the spirit world rising as I walk into the room. Yes. It, it, it's fantastic, it's almost overwhelming the feeling that I have in this house. I've never felt anything like it before. That's it, it's almost animalistic. It, it, this just makes me feel great, that the fact that I have the opportunity to be involved in, in speaking and communicating with the spirit world on, on a level like this. Oh, that's amazing. What is your feeling from, from the dogs? Well, I, I, I can just sense the, the, the sixth sense, if you will, from, from these dogs. It, it, it's very strong, it's very powerful. Um, He's walked off, Eric. What do you expect to happen tonight, exactly? Well, I, I expect them to, to communicate with us. Yeah. Um, the to, dogs? Uh, well, the, the spirit world of the dogs. Uh, the, okay. the spirit world in general. Yes. I expect the communication to be there. I expect it to be very strong. Uh -huh. um, I mean, the, the ectoplasm yeah. of, of this house is, is very, very strong. Yeah. The, the dogs have the six sets, and there's three of them, so it's multiplied by three, and of course, my power. So, shall we um, go up to the master bedroom where it's, um, all the main paranormal activity is supposedly meant to happen? Yes, I, I, I think that would be a very good idea. Okay. We don't like to have a cameraman in here with us. We like to do this 100% real, and it is 100% real. Very intimate. Yes. Because we like being intimate. Yes. Oh, well. With the viewers at home, for oh, us. Okay. I love being intimate with the viewers at home. Oh, stop! What is it, Eric? Eric, you okay? Eric, what are you feeling? I'm, what are you feeling at the moment, Eric? I'm getting very hypersensitive hearing. Yes. Eric? Eric, what's happening? Ladies and gentlemen at home, this is not being faked. Oh, I can tell you for sure that Eric looks exactly like something. What's going on, Eric? Eric. I am Albert. Albert. Yes. How old are you, Albert? I'm 54. And what's your second name, Albert? What's your second name? Are you okay, Eric? I, I can feel it just oozing out of the walls. It, it, it's incredible feeling. It, it, it's amazing. Yes. Yes, yes. 
Right, okay, Eric. Um, so we're going to now um, go into the master bedroom. So if you'd like to. We will both have cameras and um, we will both um, be staying awake to see exactly what happens. You can really feel the strength of the spirit world in, in this part of the building. You can hear the sounds. You can really, really feel the tormented souls that are. And you can, ah, it's a ghost. Wow, we've just had the first sighting of a really, really powerful, strong, tormented ghost. I'm not going to lie to you. It, it was the scariest ghost quite perhaps that I've ever seen. And it, it was making all sorts of really tormented sorts of sounds. In fact, I can hear the sounds again and I'm not getting that feeling again. So I've just received my phone call from Eric and now I'm going back over to the right um, east wing of the uh, house to find him. <laughs> Eric. Are you okay? Thank God you're here. Right. We, we've had a, a second contact with the ghost. Okay. Um, again, I'm picking up. It's a very, very tormented soul. Okay. Um, so, are, are you going to try to communicate him or let him into your body to, to say what he wants to say? Um, I, I certainly think it would be a good idea. I mean, he clearly wants to make contact. He's clearly not a shy one. Okay. Um, well, I, I haven't seen anything. You, you will. I mean, I, it, it, it's there for all to see. So shall I stay here with you for a little bit? Yes, I, th I think that would potentially be a good idea. We'll try to establish contact. Please don't try what um, Eric is doing. He's um, supposedly a highly trained, um, whatever you call this profession, ghost hunter, paranormalist. Um, so, warnings. The dogs are starting to bark now, which means, supposedly, the owners say this means that the, the ghostly dog is now in the house. <laughs> Eric has appeared to turn into a dog. At this point now, I'm going to take him to meet the other dogs. Okay, Eric? We're going downstairs, Eric. Eric, you're a dog. What's your name? Who's your owner, Derek? Ruff. Ruff. Okay, let's take Eric to meet the dogs. As you can see now, Eric, um, firmly is possessed by the spirit of a dog and they seem to be um, more attracted to him now than he was uh, than they were um, earlier especially uh, this dog here um, Eric um, what's, what, what's going on there the dog seems very excited by the uh, prospect that Eric is now a dog. Yeah, very, um, a lot going on here. And, um, now the dogs are, uh, Eric? Eric, are you back? Mm. Yes. So what, uh, what was your experience with the, uh, the dogs then? I, I felt a, a, a sudden rush of, of loyalty and, and territory amongst the house. Um, like, like this was my territory and I, and I was being a part of it. I, I, I felt that I was truly part of the family, which I, I guess in, in, uh, in dog terms would be part of the pack. Okay. Um, and, it, and it was something like I've, I've never experienced or, or felt before. Um, that I also felt Eric, that... Eric, I've got to go to the toilet. Um, if you uh, wait here, I'll be uh, back in a moment. Um, I'll be, I won't be long, so if you, if you do take on the, uh, the, the spirit of the dog again, don't you, don't you worry, I'll be down here to witness that, and it will be on camera. I will continue to explain for the benefit of the viewers at home. Um, 
um, I felt that it was something that I that I needed. I needed the validation of of, of those around me, um, which I, I guess kind of links back to the to the feeling of being in the pack. Um, best that for, for me to do this that I just take a few moments off, off camera and go and get a glass of water and you know, maybe try and calm stay in the light down. for a little while yes yes, yes. And, and re familiarize myself with, with the, the, the the our normal world for, yeah. for Lane's terms okay okay well, back in a moment Oh my god, oh my god, a real ghost! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh Christ! Making those peppers, peppers right. I'm smelling very strong. Um, uh. <laughs> Let's go find it. What was that? Should I be starting to sort of get mine? Yeah, you should, should, I, should, I, should I just start it or should I actually become possessed by it? 
I just stop and then just active it and then you become possessed. At the top of the stairs or should I wait? To yeah, tell me to stop when I'm at the top. Should I actually become properly possessed when we actually get into the room? Just act, David. Just see what happens. Just, just act it. Okay. So I come from outside completely. Just come into the room, crawling in his knees. Do you want to take a, do a scene of me just like driving off in my car? No, it's just a scene of you running out the door. <laughs> It's <laughs> me.